Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Right, let's have a look at this one, the 2013 question um, on coordinate geometry. So in my opinion, quite a, a difficult little question. Uh, there's no points. So it looks at an equation and it asks you for the slope. It looks at perpendicular lines and asks you to find an equation of a line. And then it's looking for points of intersection. So, so not the easiest question. Uh, so one well worth practicing and, and making sure you know how to do it. OK, so L is the line 3x plus 2y plus 18 is equal to 0. And it asks you to find the slope. OK. So, oh, not surprising, I'm going to the log tables. And I, I'm looking at slope. So anytime I think, or I hear slope, I generally think of um, slope um, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now, to use that though, I would need two points. And I don't have two points in this equation. In fact, I don't have any points. OK, so that's formula isn't much good to me. OK, so not an option for this question. Now, what they have given me, though, is the equation of the line. And in, in other questions, you'd, you'd have heard me saying to find the equation of the line, use y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus y1 and use this one when they give you the equation of a line. So to find the equation when they give you an equation. OK, so what I'm saying is um, y is equal to mx plus c would help us here. And why? Well, this m up here is m for slope. This c, not that we need it for this question, but that's called the y-intercept or where that line cuts through the y-axis. OK, so when a line cuts through the y-axis, that point there is what we call the y-intercept, OK? And um, that line there that I've drawn is not necessarily this one there. In fact, it's not that one there. So y is equal to mx plus c. So what does that mean? Well, that means if I take the equation and I write it in this order, so the y's on the left, then my equals to sign, then my, my x's, and then the number, OK? So let's do that for our one. So we have 3x plus 2y plus 18. So the y's on the left, OK? Then I need equals. So let's put in the equals. Then I need my x's. Now, my x's at the moment are on the left of that equals to sign. Up here, they're on the right. So those x's need to change side. And as you know, when we traverse or move over that equals to sign, it changes sign. So that 3x that was there became minus 3x. OK, next is the plus C that is also to the right of the equals to sign. In our original equation, it was on the left. So that plus 18 now has to also move side and it's going to become minus 18. OK, so we're looking better. We have the y's equal to the x's and the numbers. Now, the last part, it's just a single y, not 2y, not 3y, not any y, but a single y. OK. I have 2y, so I must divide across by 2. So every piece gets divided by 2. OK, so that 2 over 2 cancels to give me 1y or a single y is equal to minus 3 over 2x. And then 18 over 2 is 9. OK, now the slope is the number in front of x, not the x term, just the number in front of it. So there. So my slope for this question is equal to minus 3 over 2. OK, and that is how you find the slope of a line when you are given the equation rather than the points. OK, so that's how we use y is equal to mx plus c. So part b then, the line k is perpendicular to l and cuts the x-axis at the point 7, 0. Find the equation of k. OK, well, I need to go back and reread re that now in a minute. But it says find the equation of k. So 
back to your log tables. They hand these out in the leaving cert, so make sure you have them. Make sure you have a copy at home. They're, they're, they're about four euros in, in Eason's or any of those shops. Just pick up one so that you know what page everything is on. OK, so to find the equation. So that's y minus y1. Find the equation. So that's the formula I'm going to use for finding the equation. Right now, I need to go back to the first line, though, and see what they're asking. So the line K is perpendicular to L. OK, back I go to the start. So this is this line L that they're talking about. The line K is perpendicular to L and cuts the X axis at the point seven zero. OK, so the line K is perpendicular. So perpendicular. Okay, so the slope of line is perpendicular. So we'll say this is the, the line L. And I'm going to say it's L because um, L has a, a slope of minus 3 over 2. Minus means it's going down a hill. So I might have my y-intercept wrong, but at least it's a line going down. So if K is perpendicular to it, though, it's crossing it at um, a 90 degree angle. Okay, because that's what perpendicular lines mean. OK, so I'm pretending that's K and then that's L. OK, and it cuts through the X axis at the point seven zero. OK, so that's what the question means. It doesn't overly matter if you can't draw it out. It's just for some students drawing it helps. OK, now, where am I going? Well, if the slope of this one is minus three over two, then the perpendicular slope it's not equal, it's parallel lines that have equal slopes, because if you can imagine parallel lines, they go at the same slant. So it makes sense that they would have equal slopes because they never meet. Perpendicular lines though, if he's minus three over two, he has definitely got to be a plus. Okay, and the relationship is you invert the slopes or you turn it upside down. So in other words, the slope of L was minus three over two. The slope of the line perpendicular to it is turn it upside down and change the sign. OK, so that's the slope of the line K. Now I need a point on K um, because there's slope for y minus y1 equation and I need a point x1, y1. So that's why they gave you this point about where it cuts the x-axis. And it doesn't matter what the point is, you just need a point on the line k. Okay, so that point there, that seven zero, is my x1, y1. So then let's put it, put it into our formula. So now I have y, so I'm coming up with an equation, so nothing gets subbed in here for this y or this x. So y minus y1, 0, equals my slope 2 thirds times x minus x1. OK, so y minus 0 is just y equals two thirds times x minus seven. Okay, that three, I would pull up here and multiply across by three so that you get three y is equal to two times x minus seven. Multiply in your brackets, two x minus 14. Okay, so that is the equation of k. So what ended up happening technically in maths is I multiplied both sides by three here. It cancelled on the right. And then of course I had to multiply the three by y to give me the three y here. Okay, so that's technically what happened in maths. You can also remember it that the one that's on the bottom gets pulled up here. Okay, so in other words, that three gets pulled up here. So it ends up three times everything on the left. Okay, that's how we do that's how we handle equations of lines with fractions. OK, find the coordinates of the point of intersection of the lines in L and K. There's a couple of ways of doing this. One, you can do it graphically. So in other words, I can properly um, draw the line uh, 
3x plus 2y plus 18 is equal to zero. So that's not a proper drawing because I literally just guessed, but I can properly draw that so I can use a function and enter it into the calculator. I can find out where it crosses the x and y axis um, and so on and so forth. And I can plot this one and see visually where they intersect. To me, that's a much harder way than solving it algebraically. And to solve it algebraically, to get the point of intersection of two lines, we use simultaneous equations. So we take down the two lines. So L is um, 3x plus 2y plus 18 equals 0. And K, I'm just after finding it, it's 3y equals 2x minus 14. OK, and I need to find the point of intersection of those two lines. Well, the first thing I need to do for K is to change it into the same order as L. So X's, Y's, numbers. OK, so I can change either one to match the other one. And in fact, if I take this version of L instead of the one that I've written down, which is 2Y equals minus 3X minus 18, um, I will have them written in the same order. OK, so we had 2y equals minus 3x minus 18. So it was literally the version of that equation where I wrote the y's equal to the x's plus the number, but it was before I divided across by 2. OK, and the reason I'm taking this version of it rather than this one is so that I have no fractions, because it's easier to work with equations that have no fractions. OK, so simultaneous equations. So put a line under them and you cancel one of the letters. Does it matter if I cancel the X's or the Y's? Not at all. It's whichever one you look at and you think, yeah, that looks easier. Will I see 2Y and 3Y? So the lowest common multiple of them is 6. So I'd have to multiply him by 3 and him by 2. OK, that's doable. I'm looking at my X's and I see I have minus 3 and 2. OK, the lowest common one of them is also six and uh, multiply him by two and him by three. But you know what? I'm going to cancel the X's because what I also need to cancel them is one of the numbers to be a minus and the other to be a plus. OK, and the X's are already set up that way. If I chose the Y, I just have to change the signs all the way across on one of them. Now, that's not a big job at all. But you know what? Let's go with the X's because it's that bit easier. So to bring it up to six, I need to multiply this one by two. And I'd need to multiply the bottom equation by three. OK, so two by two Y. Now, the important thing is I can't just multiply the X's. When you do this, you have to multiply the whole equation by that two. You have to multiply this whole equation by that three. What you do to one piece of an equation, you have to do to it all. So if I multiply L by 2, I get 4Y equals minus 3 by 2 is minus 6X. Minus 18 by 2 is 36. Then the bottom one, I need to multiply by 3. So 3 3s, 9Y, 3 2s, 6X, 3 by 14. 4s are 12, 3 ones are 3, and 1 is 4, and that's also a minus. OK, so you can see I have minus 6x plus 6x, so they nicely cancel for me. And then you just, like an old-fashioned sum, you just add. 9 and 3 is 13y um, is equal to 878. And that isn't that good that I can do that in my head. Divide both sides by 13 y is equal to minus 6. OK, so one of the coordinates of my point of intersection, my y coordinate is minus 6. I'm not done yet because I need to find my x coordinate. OK, so to do that, I take my answer y is equal to 6 and I sub it into either equation. OK, because if you think about this, we're finding that point in the middle, that point of intersection. So the x and y value we find is common to this line. 
and this line, okay? It shares that point. So this value y is equal to six is a solution to L and K. It's on both of them, which means it doesn't matter whether I sub y is equal to six into either of these, I'm going to get the same answer for x, or at least I should. So again, you look at them and you see, does one look easier than the other? I don't think they particularly do, but we'll take the bottom one just for the crack. Y is equal to minus six. So sub him in. I know that Y is minus six now, so I can replace this Y with minus six. Is equal to two X minus 14. So six twelves minus 18 is equal to two X minus 14. I'm adding 14 to both sides because I want to solve for X, so I need to get X on its own. So minus 18 plus 14 is minus four is equal to two X. Divide by the number in front of X and I get X is equal to minus two. Okay, so I am finding that the point of intersection of those two lines is minus two comma minus six. And I write it down like an X Y point. Okay. Okay. Then does it work? Okay, so that's the sum finished. So that's all you've been asked for, okay? Now, sometimes there's another part to this particular question where you have to verify your answers, okay? So just up the top here, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna verify the answers, okay? So this is if you are asked to verify. Okay, when I'm not asked this, I tend to do it on my calculator. So what you're saying is that you should be able to take any of these equations, because remember the one that I used in my um, simultaneous equation is the same one as this, just written in a different order. So it's, a, it's like Anne, Barry and Claire lining up. If I change the order, I don't exactly change the people, okay? So when I change around an equation, I don't change the terms, I just change their order. So I should be able to sub in, instead of X, put in my um, minus two that's here. Okay, instead of my Y, I should be able to put in my minus six, plus 18 is equal to zero. And you can see the three stay the same, the two stay the same and the 18. So if I put that into my calculator, it's three bracket minus two, plus two bracket minus six, plus 18, I want to see is the left hand side equal the right, okay? And I do indeed get zero is equal to zero. So I have verified that that solution works for that first equation. Now it's simultaneous equations and it's the point two lines have in common. So I have to take, I've done L, I have to also take K and see does it work. So we have three Y is equal to two X minus 14 for K. Remember, we found it here. So just like before, I should be able to put in my Y and that should be equal to the left-hand side. So three times minus six is minus 18. Two times minus two is minus four. And minus four minus 14 is also equal to to, to minus 18. So again, the left equals the right. So I have verified that the solution works for both lines um, if you were to be asked that particular question. If you are interested in technology or engineering, but are not doing higher level maths, why not consider our level seven in electronic and computer engineering? This is a three-year program that looks at the design and development of embedded electronic systems. These are the medical devices that keeps us healthy, the consumer devices that keeps us entertained, or the controlled systems that keeps us safe on the road. You can then progress on to the level eight in electronics and self-driving technologies, and from there to the masters. Check out the link below for more information.